Hey everybody, so they just gave me some food. I haven't known what it is yet, but let's see what it is. Mm, herb crusted pork, cornbread, stuffing, green beans, wheat dinner roll, pineapple tidbits and 1% milk unsweet iced decaf tea yeah that's what we have so I'm gonna try to eat this because I haven't eaten anything but my husband went to go get Texas Roadhouse House too <sighs> y'all I'm so tired but my boy was big okay and I will come back to y'all for the name reveal and face reveal. I'm not going to reveal his face because he is badly bruised up from coming out. And I have to tell y'all the full labor and delivery story. But y'all, them contractions, baby, they were worse than my daughter. You hear me? But I did it. Um, He was 7 pounds and 12 ounces and 20 and a quarter inches long born at 5 35 september 14 i'm just so happy my baby is here for real y'all i've been crying but um yeah let me try to eat something Ooh, and it got gravy on it mm. let me try to eat something but i don't want to even sit up right now and I'll talk to y'all later. What's up, y'all? I wanted to do the 24 hours of having a newborn while in the hospital, but y'all been so tired. Today is September 15th. It's currently like 6.30 something. I'm ready to hop in the shower. I get discharged tomorrow. I just got all my IVs and blood work all that stuff done and I'm ready to get in the shower so I can be prepared for my discharge tomorrow baby boy is breastfeeding and he's bottle feeding so working on that too waiting for my milk to come in and then we're gonna go from there so yes I'm about to take my shower and I'm gonna come back to y'all later and I'm waiting on some food and hot. so we're still trying to figure out when we're getting discharged y'all it's Saturday September the 16th. <clears throat> if y'all knew, then y'all know I had my baby on the 14th. I hope he's not waking up. Oh, y'all, yeah, hold on. This is my breakfast right here, y'all. Right here. I'm standing right here. Mm -hmm. All right. Go ahead. Follow him. Thank you. Go ahead and out. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. Look at it. Push my little brother. Bye, y'all. Have a good day. You too. Have a good one. You too. This is my first little time. Pay attention, dude. Don't go too fast. I got this cool bumper car now. You're trying to pay attention and go straight. <laughs> Oh, wait. Wait. Go straight. Thank you. What's up, y'all? So I got discharged. We made it home. This is baby. He sleep chosen. So we ready to um we ready to get a feeling in. I'm trying to get my milk to come in. Then I'm going to try to pump. It's been a long day. And then I'm going to lay him down so I can't spend time with Journey. But she don't want to spend time with me. She just want to spend time with him. And then I'm going to turn his sound machine back on. Try to get a nap in because I'm tired. But let me go ahead and try to nurse him. I'm just amazed at my baby. I'm going to have a whole story. <sighs> Y'all, he was a blessing. And 
literally uh, my baby <sighs> I'm emotional my baby almost didn't make it into this world but he fought and we got through it and I can't be uh, I can't be even the most happiest to have two blessed with two healthy children and I'm just happy y'all but I'll talk to y'all later Y'all, I should have been giving y'all 24 hours with me and baby, but I can't do that, y'all. So, coming to update y'all. So, he had a, a little bit elevated Billy Rubin before leaving the hospital. They wanted me to go get his weight check today and his Billy Rubin check. Then, they couldn't get, they got a reading of 19. They asked me to take him to the hematology specialist office where my daughter go. And... His Billy Rubin, they just called me back, and it's 21, so he got to go back to the hospital. Um, so, yeah, I'm just waiting for them to call me back, and this is not the way that I wanted to start the vlog, but the in the next clip, you're going to see us at the hematology office. I don't think I got any footage at the pediatrician's office, because I'm just so concerned about my son. Y'all, if I don't call y'all, if I don't answer y'all, whatever, whatever, it's just a lot going on. Like, my pregnancy was a lot. Everything's been a lot. Um, so, yeah, I'm about to feed him, y'all. My milk coming in. I ain't going to show too much, but my milk is coming in, and I got to feed him. I got to feed him. And change his pamper and, you know, just get him straight for get ready to go to the hospital. Hopefully, I get to stay with him. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. Um, he got to get phototherapy. <sighs> but yeah, y'all. Stay tuned. So y'all, we're admitted back into the hospital. And baby boy is under the light. And I'm laying down because my feet are swollen. Let me show y'all my feet. My feet are swollen. Swollen. They were more swollen than this, but I'm putting my feet up. Bay is over there sleeping. And then I have to feed baby boy again in about two hours. So I'm about to start pumping again. Um, I'm trying to get some water in me so I can start pumping again. So I can store up some milk. Yeah, so... That's what I got going on, y'all. So, y'all, my meal just came. My mom just left with Journey. Why are you pushing yourself up? You hungry already? But we probably about to feed, baby. They said three hours, but my baby eat at two and a half hours. 
So, <clears throat> I'm about to taste this because it looks, you know, y'all know how the hospital food be. Ooh. Let's get a hamburger helper with no seasoning. First of all, he better stop trying to lift himself up out of that dang on thing. <laughs> he said, look, it's time to go. Bland. I don't know why they keep feeding us breastfeeding mama's bland food. Are they trying to say the baby ain't supposed to have no seasoning? They better be like I'm hungry. Very much so hungry. I just ate McDonald's, y'all. And I'm hungry. And then I'm about to probably get beta feet him. Because my feet are so swollen. But I might just I'll be wanting to bond with my baby. I might just get out of the bed and fucking feed him myself. I don't know what I want to do with myself, y'all. I'm up here breaking down like a little baby, y'all. Life is just life at this point. But... You know what I am going to eat, though? That cookie. <laughs> I need oatmeal. <clears throat> like oatmeal cookies. Them lactation cookies sound good right by now. If you went to the cake place, I don't even know what cake I would want. Because I don't think they got my raspberry one no more. It was limited edition. Y'all can't eat no more of this bland food. I'm about to drink both my waters. They gave me another cup, y'all. So I got another UCMB cup. You saw the bathroom light come on. The bathroom light just came on. Ain't nobody else up in this room with us. You don't see the floor? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's something saying, boo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, when I was full, this is how much I got combined. So, this is almost two ounces. Um... I just pump this. This is what I got combined. And it won't really much. So almost one ounce. So I'm a little bit under an ounce. But I had already fed him. And I had already pumped before we got here too. So yeah. But yeah, I had a lot of knots and I still have like a few claw ducks, so I might just let him breastfeed off me to try to empty out my boob, cause my boob be hurting, y'all. It be hurting. Let me go ahead and eat this oatmeal cookie, y'all. Thank y'all for running me up, though. My one of these videos, so the one where I failed my NST. Y'all been showing love to that video, and y'all, I just want to thank y'all so much. Like, I normally say I put the videos in the cars, but eventually, I will go back and do it just right now. It's been a lot with my baby, stuff like that, so y'all understand. But if y'all watched that video, thank y'all so much. If you had joined the family recently, I want to say thank you. Thank you so much, because y'all don't understand how much this means to me. I'm a stay-at-home mom now, and... If I can make videos all day about my life and about my child, my children, 
y'all y'all don't understand i ain't gonna have to work no more you know but i'm gonna keep pushing out this content for y'all and keep letting y'all know what's going on i'm trying to get my feet to go down because i don't want to be the one that's admitted to the hospital next so <clears throat> i'm really trying to stay off my feet but again y'all know it's hard with a five-year-old and a newborn but i thank god for my mom because she's been taking like care of everything for my five-year-old so she's been doing the most with that so i'm just trying to get back on my feet so it could be regular scheduled programming y'all because y'all know i appreciate the help but y'all know that i don't like to rely on people y'all already know that so we are going to see y'all how everything playing out and yeah yeah <sighs> I will, oops, I will talk to y'all later because I'm dropping everything, but I don't. So y'all, I'm about to pump because my boobs are starting to hurt. I'm about to drink my water. I have two of these now. took off my little binder because it was hurting me but I'm getting ready to
So I'm gonna let it go for like 30 minutes. 20 minutes. I'm about to think I'm about to feed him this bottle. Trying to get all this stuff off him, so I gotta watch him. He's trying to get the little mask off. Dean, stop. He don't like this at all. just fed baby boy um and I had pumped and so yeah I will have to show y'all basically what I have to do when I wake up when I feed him stuff like that but I don't have my tripod so I will try to do my best I'm using the bathroom right now I missed recording this feeding but I'll record next feeding I'm gonna try to get me some sleep but I'm right now watching him like a hawk. I'm going to get my water in. Yeah. So. So I'm dedicated to the cause. It looks like that Chosen wants to eat again. He's sucking on his fingers. So I'm about to make his bottle really quickly. I'm going to make his bottle. That's not it. I'm coming. I'm coming, Dan. So, I'm coming, Dan. So I got 20 minutes, y'all, to feed him and put him back under the light. He don't like none of this stuff on him, y'all. He don't like none of this stuff. track of it and go write it down so it's 12 12 right now he was hungry yeah. I'll be about at the 
close to the halfway mark where I got a burp out. So, yes, y'all. This is so hard. And I cannot go to sleep. I'm just overhounding, protecting. Make sure I don't miss no feedings. Make sure I don't miss no cues. Well, nothing. I, I don't want to miss anything. <clears throat> So he just spit up on me, y'all. And I don't know. I think he overstuffed on himself. So I think I'm not gonna give him no more. It's 12, 17, and we just go right down what he what he did. So <clears throat> so they say it's 60 emails in here. Good job. He drank about 40 mLs. So he got about 19 mLs left in there. So I'm going to put that he drank 40 mLs. <coughs> then I'm going to change his diaper once I put him back under the light. He's not going to like it, but we got to get him straight. He's cool, my man. All right, y'all, so we're going to go ahead and put him back in front of the light. So I got to put him back up under there, but y'all not going to be able to see it, so I got to go ahead and put him down first.
gonna write this stuff down and then put his pamper, his wet pamper right here because they have to weigh it. Now I'm about to write down his feeder. So he did 40 mLs, about, no, about 38 mLs. So it was 12, 12 a.m., 34 mLs of formula, and he had a pee diaper. So now it's time for me to throw this stuff in the trash, and then I have to make sure that mask stay on his eyes, because he keeps yanking it off. So, yeah, y'all. That's my life. I'll update y'all in the morning. So, y'all, we made it home. He right here, y'all. My hip was um hurting. I'm pumping right now, y'all. Anyways, I'm pumping right now. With my mom cozy s12 pro he had some formula he had some formula y'all um but yeah they working good i got some some milk stored up in the refrigerator for his next feedings. So that's why I'm trying to stay on top of pumping and have these bottles because some sometimes he don't want to stay on my boob either. So, so I probably skip a breast milk bottle because I'm trying to get more milk in there. So I'll skip a breast milk bottle, get him another thing of formula. It's almost time for him to eat. I think he's getting hungry now. So I'm about to go feed him. I'm just having my babies home. Now I'm just trying to heal because my hips hurt real bad. I have pelvic girdle pain, y'all. Postpartum is just postpartum for me. And y'all, I'm six days postpartum. I'm going to be a week postpartum tomorrow. Like, I literally had him last week, for real. So, today is Wednesday the 20th. Today was supposed to be my original induction dates. Also... It would have been my number, September the 20th. You know, that would have been my number. I would have been 38 weeks today. But he came last week at 37 weeks in a day. So, yeah. I was supposed to supposed to get induced this week on today. But, yeah, I'm so happy that I had him last week because... He was almost eight pounds last week, so I I would have had a crazy birth this week. So I'm happy with the outcome that happened. Um, we wanted it to be today that he got induced because Journey birthday is February 20th. Our anniversary is October the 20th, so it would have been special, you know, for him to be born uh, exactly a month before our anniversary. But it's it's okay. He got his own day. He's sharing a birthday with my cousin, Danny. So, yeah. He would have been sharing a birthday with my uncle, with one of my great uncles. But he came the next day, so. And I got induced late, so. I'm just so happy. My baby. But I will do a labor and delivery story. Because I got to tell y'all everything. Um, Yeah. But 